We are live from Atlanta, Georgia's Dirty South Zone. And I noticed they've cleaned this place up a bit. Yeah, I remember finding a lot more severed fingers in my chili last time. And there were fewer bodies to step up in the men's room. Place is kind of losing its character. I miss the shit sandwiches. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. And lots of lots of beers. The Galaxy Chaos face off against the Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My blood sack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. Catches it. I had this guy on my. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. It was a risky throw, and the defense made it pal with the brain scrambler. <laughs> A nice time warp dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Ah, did they? Didn't they just? Uh, am I losing my mind? Or did that play that I saw just not happen? I gotta stop smoking them on tidy laundry pods. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Third down and never going to happen. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Well, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Point with multiple interceptions, the game breaks away. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is on. Oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Oh, gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Nice pick up there for a first down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. 
Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. was there but he still picked up a yard somehow oh holy montezuma's revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle oh, that montezuma was very vengeful wasn't he bricks wonder what made him so mad yeah it was probably all the diarrhea yeah, you're probably right yeah they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to mexico forever to crack their pants huh. sounds like he didn't really think it through because you know he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives but what the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. First and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and six. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, man. Like a haiku. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called setters then. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth! <laughs> oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him! He's at the 30, and the defense is on his heels! The 10! Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, with the punishing hit. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Oh, the player's favorite. are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score and it's first and ten and there's another pick 
Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of hammer. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You'd expect him not. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And it's first and ten. run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Second down and five. And with another pick, the QB says, if that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Oh, three yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Second down and seven. And the defense just, there's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and two. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. And he finds him. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Friends. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And the 
quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his Sleeties this morning. Oh, he just got crushed. First down and three. Not much there, maybe a yard. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Second down and two. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third and two. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Brick. He's got the distance, and the kick is gone. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. This is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And he picks up the loose ball and rumbles into the end zone for the score. Nice going. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Should be easy, but it's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Second down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time with the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Second down and seven. Oh, man. He just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Oh. 
Right Rage ignites that deep down violent. And not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Second down and ten. gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be more than a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Great color work as usual. A short but possibly essential field goal here. Short, but essential. That's what they call bricks. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Yeah. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And it's first and ten. Another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First down and one. You've got to catch that. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense couldn't do anything to stop a throw that good, man! You mean aside from driving the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. He is fighting for every... He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Boom! The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably crammed his pants. And it's first and ten. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Second down and five. Defense has to do a better job of 
watching out for that dirty trick. Third down and five. They pick up three on a short pass. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grin? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Just a good old... I know how this said never hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? First down and nine. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. 
In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standing when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. And goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned on the light, it wasn't. He just put that guy into his misery and says, who's next? Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to start as the teams take the field. This game has been one lopsided route. Yeah, football games are kind of like boobs. Big or small, they're both great, except for when they're lopsided. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game... Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. I, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 30. Here comes the defense. He's at the 10. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips as they say at the deli. Who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on Rod? And the comments after last week's game were blowing up on Chitter. Critics said he should shut up or blow up. You know, two birds with one stone there, I suppose. Time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. 
And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot today <laughs> the defense is down to their surviving defensive back when he dies they lose the game by forfeit second down and ten hot, hot one hot two hot. he's rumbling and stumbling he could go all the way and he scores Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be caught straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. This defender is not going to be stopped. Once he picked up that loose ball, he was going to score or die trying. Luckily for him, he scores! The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. secondary for you pay him for the pick six for this you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck and that's the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five yards on that oh no that was totally unnecessary <laughs> i gotta see that one again it was also freaking awesome i hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. Third down and long. And that's another turnover for the defense. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And he reels that one in for a first. Bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. It's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, he's leaving a 
wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Man, what a hit that was! The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Ah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot. by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a play, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Clem. I would have thought you had that muscles to move like that. Or a brain nervous system, but I see your point, Bricks. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Third down and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, he oh, with a brutal hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot. hot. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the player on the leg breaks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten.
First down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. He had it for a second there. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. That's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. And there aren't many things better than a running back blasting through the defense for a big gain. Like some pizza. Yeah, I'm sure you got pizza. Uh, and burritos. Okay, you make a good point. Oh, oh and pickles. Gotta have pickles. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Man, those bones can boogie. The lack of muscle, fat, organs, and skin really makes it easy for him to dance. <laughs> the defense is down to their last line basher. He's going to have to suck it up and not die out there. They can bribe the refs in this game. Why not bribe the Grim Reaper? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Now I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting a snot kicked on them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Now, uh, don't worry. That's coming. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The ten. Touchdown. And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Look. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. First and, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> First down and forever. Hot one, hot two. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 30, the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. 
Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. <laughs> now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. <laughs> Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly did. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. The Deadland of Vultures win by forfeit today. Man, they destroyed their competition. They mutilated them, Grim. They mutilated them. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. An alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.